Soul Food, Boys in the Hood, Straight Outta Compton, Menace to Society, Don't Be a Menace to Society. Well, don't be a Mr. Society. It's a little bit different. That was a funny ass movie. But all them black movies, I'm tired of seeing them and I want to talk to you about them. My name is JT and welcome to the People's Paradise Podcast. So. People, what's up with you? Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you for listening. Thank you for pressing the play button. Thank you for taking the time to just listen to your boy while you're at work or while you're in school just because you're just tired of life. Now, with that being said, um, I was talking to my friend earlier about African-American movies, about how a lot of African-American movies, they're, they don't have any creativity now. You know, I feel like most African-American movies nowadays, they just keep following the same line of creativity of... This, that's not even creative, that same line of the black struggle or four or five black people growing up in the hood or the sister sister who's trying to get a man or who's struggling raising four or five kids. And all those are great stories, a great story, and I understand why people are making those stories. But at the same time, I really feel like we can really make, we can really produce greater art than that. I feel like as black people, we have more talent. So I'm talking about, I'm, I'm making this video because I want, I expect more from the Tyler Perry's, the Spike Lee's, and the Oprah's of the world. I want them to start making great art. Don't just keep making this goddamn subpar level art that, they, that you're just going to keep putting on the screens because you think black people are going to come out and see them. Because I'll tell you right now, I ain't going to keep coming to the theaters to see a goddamn Medea movie every single year. I ain't going to keep coming to see Medea's boo, Medea goes to space, Medea, Medea and Bruce Jenner elope. I don't want to see all of that shit. Like, I want to see something new. I want to see something brand new. I want to see something innovative. And I, I think I think a lot of black directors, a lot of black screenwriters, I don't think they're being creative anymore, man. I think they just keep making the same bullshit films and keep feeding it to us because they know we're going to go see it. I ain't going to keep seeing it. I'm going to tell you right now. Now, I want, and, and I guess... If I can if I can narrow this down in one sentence, if I can narrow the message of this podcast down in one sentence, I want it to be this: I want to see more sci-fi films, more fantasy films, more western films. I want to see more films like that from black screenwriters, from black directors, from black filmmakers. I don't want to just keep seeing Juju and Boo Boo try to get out to her. I don't want to just keep just seeing Keisha Keisha Nightman wants to get a man. I don't want to keep seeing. That. I want to see something different. I want to see something different. I want to feel something else different. So with that being said, my name is JT. Um, I want to tell me what you think, bro. Seriously, you know you watch me right now on YouTube. You know you're laughing at me. You vibe with my message, whether you disagree or agree. I want you to comment below and let me know what you think. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. You know, talk to the boy. And, um, you know, subscribe to my channel. Or I'll tell anybody, subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button, and we can have the conversation afterwards through my comments, through my DMs, in fact, my podcast, you can go to the chat box and listen to me there, you know. I'm, a, I'm everywhere, baby, so we can have the conversation. So thank you for listening, and hope you have a good day.